Good morning, good morning, good morning, and happy New Year's Eve to everyone. I hope everybody has a great and safe holiday. Uh, don't drink too much, and if you do drink, get a designated driver. That's my public service announcement for today. And now, in other news, I actually want to discuss and talk a little bit about my reactions to playing Troika's Acid Death Fantasy by Luke Gearing. I got to play in a game last night for about three hours. It was really fun. Um, I've never played Troika before, and I just kind of want to let my viewers know that, um, you know, it's a pretty cool game. If you get a chance to run it or playing it, do it. Um, 2D6 game, very simple. I'm kind of leaning in that direction right now with a lot of these D6 games that I'm liking right now. But the cool thing about it is very simple, very intuitive system. Kind of going through it. Um, I don't have, or I haven't fully read the main core book, but I did read Acid Death Fantasy. Uh, just because I like the setting and the art initially really kind of <laughs> very Dune-esque, right? Um, as you can see by this artwork. But I want to quickly kind of go over the system and and why I think Troika could be a pretty cool game uh, if you want to explore a lot of different uh, genre settings. Um, I'll be honest, the first time I got a, even was introduced to Troika was one of my, by one of my friends, and he described it as pretty random, um, pretty gonzo-y. Uh, I, for one, am not really big into that, um, but, you know, I need to take my bias out of things and, and just kind of review and um, and then give a biased opinion. <laughs> That's kind of funny if you think about it. Um, but I wanted to test it out, um, kind of get the uh, get get a taste of it. Um, I know that uh, Aaron the Pedantic did a little video over Troika, and um, from what he said, he's like it's pretty cool, but not suited for long term play. Um, I kind of agree and disagree with that. Uh, it's a skill-based system as opposed to a class base. Technically there are classes, but they're more like professions. Um, and you can only stay in that one profession. But what's kind of cool, I guess with a little GM juice uh, and a little creative e exploration with you and your GM, you could probably do anything. Um, and that's pretty much for every tabletop, to be honest. But what I liked about Troika uh, again, was that 2D6 system. Simple, easy. Combat was fun. Um, there's a roll under and a roll over, or kind of a versus method of rolling. Anytime you want to do a skill, like for instance, my character was a, a sand shifter, or sifter, and he would prospect for minerals and lost treasures by, on this planet. I would try to roll underneath my skill uh, of, um, sand shifting or prospecting and there's multiple different skills um that you roll under but combat was really fun because it's a roll over um and one thing that i totally forgot to do is that, again everything's a 2d6 and then you add the appropriate skill level uh our skill die which is usually actually it's just 2d6 and then add, add, a, add a plus a d6 so there are time periods last night in the fight where I actually ended up rolling really good and I was like oh I did not I totally forgot to add that d6 and you know my character almost died as a result of it and x y and z what I also like about the system is the combat combat is dynamic um, or cinematic almost uh, which kind of gets really fun and creative with fighting enemies um, we were ambushed by a sand shark and uh, it was the first encounter of the day and it was pretty gnarly in fact uh, like i said my character i think had mm, about five hit points left out of 17. Um, but what was cool about it is if the sand shark were to attack and he rolled like i don't know a 13 or whatever and i do my opposed roll and i get a 14 well hey the sand shark missed but i get an attack how cool is that so it creates this really fun dynamic movie like uh fighting so uh, you know my, this started kind of making my gears turn in my head and i was like man this would be great for like space combat like ship the ship or or eat well not necessarily space combat but any ship the ship combat like how cool would that be like 
there's a volley of fire out of the wind uh, just happen to to t tilt the ship in a different direction or you know you happen to dodge it in this dog fight that you're having with planes or or spaceships like how cool would that be and then you get that return volley or that return fire uh, pretty neat um, I can't wait to actually introduce it to my wife and our kind of primary in-person tabletop gaming group uh, so they can kind of go oh this is cool currently my group is just a bunch of uh, new players aside from my, one of my best friends and uh, my wife uh, we have uh, two additional people that have never played any role-playing games and I'm trying to start off easy and I'm not trying to jump straight into 5e because you know part of my New Year's is to step away from Dungeons and Dragons and focus on other games um, instead of Dungeons and Dragons uh, so that's kind of my New Year's New Year's thing, and, and really not to fall into the negativity of the D&D issue. Um, but that's another video completely. This is just Troika, Acid Death Fantasy. I love the name, by the way. Um, but again, uh, combat really stood out to me. Um, just playing the game in, 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 that, in this world was really cool. You can see from the artwork... Uh, it's it's kind of, I don't know the best word to describe it, juvenile, but still aggressive? I don't know. I made, made those words up. Um, but I do like the system. Uh, I could see myself playing a lot of cool Troika games, and I need to get the, I'm a print person, so I need to get the book book. I have the PDF, but it's not the same as the print. But as you can see, this is the PDF of Acid Death Fantasy. Uh, here's a map of the world. And then these are backgrounds. Um, kind of like, per se, your class or profession. Uh, as you can see, where was my sand? Yeah, 36. Sand shifter. Uh, sifter. That's what I was. Uh, and I think we had, ooh, we had a lizard person. I think he was a, what was he called? It wasn't a vomit lizard. I'm not quite sure. That's an enemy. Never mind. Um, hmm, what was he called? Eh, I don't remember. Um, I think we had a wasteland wanderer or two. It was neat. Never played with these guys. They were really cool. Uh, really helped in the, a newbie for Troika. Um, but as you can see, it's super simple. I love the artwork. Comic book-esque. That's the word I want to look for. It reminds me of an ode to early comic books, like 90s comic books. Growing up, I, I remember like buying the X-Men with Cable and Bishop on the cover, and I thought it was the sickest cover ever because I wanted to be a future warrior coming into the past to save the present, uh, which could be a plot line, um, writing notes for campaign ideas. Um, but, again, very simple. little little backstory on uh, the civilization... Uh, water is definitely a resource that we were kind of really scout, uh, uh, going for. Um, and then these are kind of like a list of the backgrounds. I'm not going to go too far into it because I don't, I want you to buy it. Um, but just kind of looking through it. Look at that. I mean, the artwork's just really cool. There's magic to it. I, typically I play a magic person. Uh, in any kind of game or a magic user. I didn't get to play it because I like the dice roll because uh, that's always fun to make characters. Um, what's kind of neat about the system is it has a table of uh, damage. So depending on what weapon you use, you roll your d6 and then that's further broken down to actually how much damage they um, have. Um, from my guess, the armor takes away from that die roll. Uh, so if I rolled a 5 on that table, I would actually look at the 4 column to see the actual damage on that Vomit Lizard um, X, Y, and Z. Uh, armor 0, though, means if I roll a 5, I take that 5 damage, look at the table, and see, and consult the table and see what it is. But really easy. Uh, th mm, typically, yeah, sorry. Uh, there's three different stats, so it's not a stat-heavy game. I just love the artwork. Uh, your skill, your stamina, which is your HP, and your luck. What's cool is you can push your luck up to your luck score, so you can add that D6 to a roll, and you want to roll under. 
uh, to see if you were lucky to pass that skill check. Um, yeah, very, very neat game. As I said, this is the first time I was really introduced to um, the game, and uh, I really liked it. I like the mechanic. I, I like how simple it is. Again, it, it just leaves... It, it, with any tabletop game, right? There's that spark, and then you, as a GM, have the ability to kind of create your own world. Um, I just like the freedom of this game. Uh, it wasn't stat-heavy. It wasn't like a... I'm a big Lamentations fan, so y'all guys know this. Um, but and even Lamentations is not stat heavy, but it's not like a Pathfinder or D and D. Very simple skill system. Um, oh, and the neat thing: so you rest, right? Upon your rest, during during play, you kind of keep track of what what roles were successful. So for like, for instance, my um, sand shifter or sifter um, had a sand fighting. And it was out of one. It starts out of, actually at zero. And I was kind of keeping track of how many times I was successful fighting in the sand. Because I'm a sand kind of creature. I think Freeman from Doom. Um, and, and I had a knife. So it was very much Dune. <laughs> um, but anytime you're successful on rolling uh, your skills uh, in combat. Uh, or anything really. You keep, keep a tally mark. And then, and then upon your rest you get the ability to kind of rank up that skill set, but you have to roll o under or over, I think it's over, um, your current skill set to rank it up to, you know, rank one, rank two. And theoretically, you can go up to rank 12, um, and then after that, it gets a little nigh impossible mathematically to uh, beat that because it's only in a 2D6 system. But um, just kind of looking through it again, uh, Initial impression's fun. Uh, I haven't had this much fun in a long time. Um, typically, I'm a GM, and just playing in a game in a new system that's very simple was really, really cool. Um, yeah, just kind of looking through it. Definitely pick it up. Pick up a copy. It's worth it. And that's uh, Acid Death Fantasy, um, a Troika system and uh pick one up for yourself pick up troika uh that's my kind of next big purchases uh is troika uh if not you even run it just pick it up for ideas for a sci-fi game and the artwork is just cool again it's that ode to in my opinion that 90s 90s comic book artwork which is so cool but pick up your own copy, uh, play for yourself, and um, have a happy and wonderful new year. Be safe. And um, I do have special news. Um, currently, I am trying to uh, get up to 100 subscribers because um, I found out my channel is very difficult to find due to my URL name. It's not Rara Rasputin, as it should be. Um, kind of newbie mistake on my end uh, it's part of my uh, actual email so I'm trying to get up to 100 subscribers so I could um, change my URL uh, to Raw Rasputin to make my channel a little bit easier to find because um, I've noticed it's been a really tough tough cookie to find um, if you're not actually clicking on my links you uh, go into YouTube and just type in Raw Rasputin you're gonna get the Bunny M song uh, so I, I want to try to get up to 100 subscribers here soon. Uh, no rush. I just want to be able to claim that URL. Uh, 